What's up growers? It's BLG and welcome back to the Cannabis Grow Guide. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Sunday and staying well medicated. This week we've got some great news and an Echo 600 LED light to give away. If this is your first time here, make sure you smash that subscribe button. It's day 49 for the DIY Stealth Grow Box, and from this day forward, the girls will be flushing and receiving only plain water and no more nutrients. These girls were fed with only Floriflex nutrients all the way through flower. If you guys like the results you're seeing so far and you haven't made the switch to Floriflex, then now is the time. Use the discount code BLG40 for 40% off your first purchase, and use the other codes down in the description for a lifetime of savings. If you guys have any questions for me about Floriflex nutrients, make sure you drop them down in the comments below. Gorilla Bomb is a cross between Gorilla Glue number no. 4 and THC Bomb. And this first pheno I have is definitely one for the books. She is a heavy yielder with large dugs that get a lot of their shape and characteristics from the famous Gorilla Glue No. 4 cut. She has a chronic pungent smell that will leave you drooling and it's backed up with a slight earthy ammonia that you can't forget. Well, we said we had some good news for you guys, and man, what a relief it is. We posted up our pest problem on a couple forums, and I have to give a big thanks to Root Excess for identifying our pest as springtails and not root aphids. This has probably been the biggest sense of relief I have ever had inside the garden. However, this scare has really kept me on my toes with making sure I don't bring any outdoor pests, and it will keep me on top of my IPM game. Springtails are a harmless hexapod that can be found in overly damp conditions and can be a sign of overwatering. I've just recently started running a VPD and the last few crops, and I'm wondering if having the higher humidity levels above 60% have contributed to these guys showing up. While I'm thankful that they aren't going to cause any damage to my beautiful cannabis plants, I will take measures to control the population and eventually eliminate them from the garden altogether. And lastly, inside the grow box is our cut of green crack. I must say the Platinum LED has done an awesome job of stacking our buds and giving us some nice sized colas. While the green crack is not nearly as frosty as these Gorilla Bomb cuts, don't let her fool you because she still packs a heavy punch. She has also been known to give me some pretty good yield, so I'm excited to see what we'll pull from this small stealth grow box. Let's finish checking these girls out and we can jump on over into the flowering tent. Let's take a look at the pug's breath underneath the DIY QB324 fixture. If you guys want to see how to build one of these fixtures yourself, I'll link our build video at the top of the screen now. If you want to purchase a pre-built HLG fixture and support the Cannabis Grow Guide, head over to thecannabisgrowguide.org forward slash shop and you can save 10% off retail on all HLG lighting including the brand new HLG 550 V2 R-Spec. This week I've got a question from Rick also known as Blue River Farms 286 over on our grow forms and he asks, when should I start recharge? Recharge can be started immediately after your seedling sprouts and applied at a rate of one half teaspoon per gallon of water once a week. 
You can continue using Recharge all the way through Veg and into Flower if you don't have a microbial inoculant specifically for Flower. However, you'll want to stop using Recharge at around 5 or 6 of Flower as is really not needed beyond this stage and the continued use is really just a waste. If you're fortunate enough to have some Mammoth Pea, then I recommend you stop using Recharge after Veg and use your Mammoth Pea for flowering as it is specifically designed to increase the uptake of phosphorus, resulting in larger buds. guys delivered with 200 comments on our Mars Hydro Echo 600 LED Grow Light unboxing video and as promised we're going to give one of these bad boys away. In order to do so we're going to pick a random subscriber who commented with the hashtag Mars Hydro on that unboxing video. And if you're outside the US you will be required to pay for shipping and you will have one week to claim your light before we give it away to someone else. If you guys enjoyed any part of this week's video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more next week, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. I hope you guys have a blessed Sunday, stay lifted, and peace.